Can't believe you made a reservation. Well, that's something good daters do. It's classy. Wouldn't be surprised if I dabbed the corner of my mouth with a napkin at some point. What took you so long? I've been hiding in the lounge for over an hour. I'm half gooned. M Millie, what a crazy random happenstance. What are you talking about? You said you'd help me. You're helping Millie and taking me on a date at the same time? Look, I I'm just kind of here as her safety net. She's going to be over there doing her own thing. You know, you won't even know that she's here. Excuse me a moment. Seems you've taken my glasses. I was going to use them as a disguise and sneak out of here, but good luck finding the exit with these things on. OK, so here's the plan. If I drop my napkin, that means I'm in trouble, and you should go and meet me at the bar. Fine, OK, off you go. Shall we, my pet? I better get a souvenir. I think this will be one for the box. What do you think of the ice sculpture? What's it supposed to be? Remember the punch? You froze it? Where's the caviar? The live music, the tiny waiters with the fancy clubs. There was no time. Maybe if you'd let me do things my way, you wouldn't have had to settle for secondary crap. Where should I set up? Set what up? Taylor's providing the music. I play a little piano. Literally. This sucks. Who is going to be impressed with frozen fruit punch and luncheon chunks? Relax. Once people get drunk enough, they'll respect you. All right, how's everyone doing tonight? I'll put out another box of wine. So the transplant could save my dying ficus. Hey, that's funny. Transplant. If there was a plant called a trans, I could transplant my transplant. <laughs> yeah, order me one too. I'll be right back. You gotta get me out of here. This guy's 10 pounds of boring covered in bland wrap. Millie. This is just your attention span issue. We talked about this. No, I swear, it's him. Well, then you take control of the conversation. Well, if you like him so much, why don't you marry him? That doesn't even make... Look, I have my own date to worry about. Yeah, I can see you're really charming your skirt off to missus. Uh-oh. Uh, go back and focus. Pretty good party, hey? It's all right. Who's throwing it anyway? I'll show you who's throwing it. Ting, 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 ting. Excuse me. Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> As the new landlord, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say hi and welcome to my party. <laughs> oh, and uh, the parking spot closest to the back door is mine. So you're the landlord? Yes, I own the building. When are you going to fix the leaky toilets on the third floor? Yeah, and my hallway could use a new paint job. Well, that's... Uh, my doorknob is wobbly. Oh, crap. <gasps> Stan Durko, you old son of a bug! I thought it was you! What brings you here? We're having dinner. They, they make wonderful dinners. You should go to your table and have some at your table. Had it. <laughs> We were just about to order dessert when I looked over and I said, I think that's Stan Durko and his lovely wife, Anna. I said, if you insist. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this is Harvey. It's our first date. How exciting. Yeah, you would think, wouldn't you? Tell them about the cement. Well, uh, I was just telling Millie about all the different grades of asphalt used throughout the city. See, uh, most roads, they're made with a 43-grade uh, asphalt, whereas uh, parking lots and driveways typically will go with a standard 53-grade. You don't say. He does say. He won't not say. If you'll excuse me, I think I have to go powder my nose. And I might also pee. I'll join you. Well, now that the ladies have gone, we can talk about concrete. Do you know there's mice in the basement? And what's with the weird smell on the second floor? 
That's enough. Come on, people. Joyce doesn't... Sorry. Joyce doesn't have money to fix all your problems. She can't even throw a proper party. Look at all this crap. Luncheon chunk, cheap wine. She even had to settle for this loser instead of hiring a real band. Maybe one day she'll be able to run the building properly. But until then, can't we leave her with her dignity? What little she has left. I guess I can deal with a few runny toilets. Don't worry, uh, things will pick up. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I guess I owe you one. You're welcome. Can I have Monday off? I suppose that's reasonable. Really? Sure. Considering you'll be here all day Saturday cleaning up. Remind me why I haven't quit this job yet. Because your daddy won't let you. Unless, of course, you take into account any roads paved before 1953. I wasn't taking that into account, no. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the girls. They haven't gone a long time. Oh, I'll come with you. Terrific. It's so nice to be with someone who actually knows how to date. And who knows squiddly squat about concrete. You know, I've never ridden in one of them. Oh, seven's up. Oh, this was fun. Mm. See ya. Woohoo! Missy Grumpaloo's imaginary friends were getting her in trouble. So she decided to go to the friend factory where she could pick out all sorts of new friends. But Missy's new friends were so boring, she could barely stay awake. So she called up her old imaginary friends who came right over and livened things up a bit. <laughs> 